I'm Henry McPherson, I'm a composer on BMAS 3 at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland, and I have written this opera, Uta. I think the thing that inspired me to write Uta was um, a kind of nostalgia for fairy stories and for magic, and I read a lot of fantasy when I was a kid, and I was really into that whole kind of thing, and, um, and there's something about getting a little bit older, you know, growing up, you start to feel the fairy stories and the magic isn't relevant anymore, um, so I wanted to try and condense that into 12 minutes into um, into a short and working with the film department I knew it was going to be a good um, a good opportunity to sort of blend the magic in with everything else Henry's piece is really good, it's a lot of fun, um, it's quite challenging in some ways um, because obviously it's a modern piece and different techniques are used within the voice, like Sprechstimme, so that's quite fun to do because I don't get to do that too often. I'm a tenor, I'm singing the part of Magician One in Ute by Henry McPherson uh, and today is our session with the orchestra, with the BBC SSO. It's fantastic. It's so good to finally have, um, to actually have an orchestra to work with. I mean, we've had piano rehearsals and conducting rehearsals, but now to actually have the band here, it really sounds, you, you kind of get a feeling of what it's actually supposed to sound like. It's fantastic working with the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra. I mean, it's an amazing opportunity for me and for the singers and everyone involved there. They're the pros <laughs> and uh, they really bring the music to life and it's lovely, especially for me. A little bit daunting perhaps, but it's, uh, it's fun. It's awesome. Like, as a student, to get this opportunity is one in a million. I think it's fantastic. I really do. I th it's the sort of piece that really grows on you as well. So you start it and you're, as a singer you panic because it's extended techniques and it's not very tonal. And then the more you listen to it, the more... I, I just love it. I'm really starting to enjoy it. There's certain places that you just feel like you're returning to a home key, even though it's not particularly tonal. And it's fantastic. How's your day going? Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Working hard? Mm. Warm? Warm or cold? Or? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been filmed before. I mean, this is my first interview. This is, I'm really looking forward to, to actually having to act on camera rather than act on a stage. Um, it will be really interesting, especially with all the costumes and the prosthetics and things. And it's like, just gets to know a completely different world, I think. I've never done a film or anything like that. So just like the costumes are going to be fun. Um, and just working with Dave and everyone, because we're all good friends, so it'll be good to work together. <laughs> I think the thing I'm most looking forward to about being on set is seeing what Ray, Talon, the director, and what the um, the makeup and the costume crew and what the film crew can bring to it. Um, my job is is not, it's kind of not done, but it's I, I've written the music and uh, I've done my creative bit, and I'm really looking forward to passing it on to someone else with a different set of skills, with a different background, different creative energy, and see what see what they can do with it. I think it'll be fantastic. It's going to be very cold, but apart from that, I think it's going to be it's going to be great.